People often ask me why painting and plein air on site is, uh, is so difficult. And you know, I wrote down in the book a number of, um, a number of things that happen. One of the things that you always find is that the best views are from the middle of the road because often we're driving and we look and it's a superb view. But if you stop and try and go back and find it, you can't get it from the verge, it's sort of gone. And that's always a nuisance. Uh, the other thing that you'll find classically, I mean, there's loads of these that happen when you're painting. The other thing I found is if anything can move, it'll move as you're painting it. Actually, as you're painting, it'll be gone. After you've drawn it on the watercolor paper, it's, it's, uh, it's one of those things that happens every time. Um, people are another sort of occupational hazard, aren't they? Everyone's, remember everyone has got a relative uh, who paints and inevitably they paint better than you. And you know, if a painting's a terrible failure, I find that bus loads of people turn up. Bus loads of people if it's a failure. Uh, if it's a success, if it's a stunner, the opposite happens and it's not a person for miles to show you sort of uh, your masterpiece too. But that, that's what happens. Other things I often say, I nearly said it with this one. And, and you think you'll go back tomorrow, you know. Um, and the thing is, by the time you get to tomorrow, the thing is absolutely changed. There's roadworks or, or, you know, they built a house in the state or, or some such thing. So don't go back tomorrow. Um, something I just missed you on this one, I was lucky, is that bird poo is surprisingly accurate. It's happened to me once or twice when I've been out that, that the, yeah, birds seem to target paintings. I don't know why they can't be, they can't be that artistic, can they? Um, Horses, horses are a nuisance too. Most animals are a nuisance, but horses seem very inquisitive with painting kit and painting gear. They, they keep pinching your brushes and, you know. Um, and the other thing that I always find when I go out painting is if you think it'll always brighten up, you know, or it'll be okay when the tide's going out, inevitably it's heading towards rain, inevitably the tide is coming in. So all these things sort of conspire to work against you. On this one, there's a young lad thundering past in a in a tractor, spraying me with dust, dust and grit, which by the end of the painting I was chewing. Um, he was quite pleased with it, though he stopped eventually and said that it was quite nice and uh, yeah, and that he had a sister who painted really, really well, uh, as it does. But you've got to persevere against it, and in the end, you will prevail.